We're back pregame.tv. Steve Fezzik, Scott Sprites are breaking down college football. We're going to go here locally. UNLV, we went to a bowl game last year. Not going to happen this year. We're hosting Northern Illinois. Put up or shut up game. Scott, how many games are UNLV going to win this year? You know, before the season began, I was thinking four. After watching, we knew they were going to get blasted by Arizona. We talked about that and the speed factor of Arizona being able to turn a 10-yard pass into a 90-yard touchdown reception. Speed factor just too great when they go up against lightning quick top-level teams or top-level conference teams. And so then they go on against Northern Colorado, and they were laying close to four touchdowns in that game. UNLV laying close to four touchdowns. Four turnovers almost cost them. And they end up eking out a 13 to 12 win over the boys from Greeley. So I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at this schedule. They got Northern Illinois. We're going to talk about and here it's today. Real tough. How about not only the next couple of weeks and the teams they got to play? They got at Houston, at San Diego State, at San Jose State. After this, November 15th, November 23rd, November 29th, UNLV goes at BYU, at Hawaii. Six days after Hawaii, home against Nevada. Not one bye week, 13 games. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous schedule. It's an impossible schedule for a program that is where they were trying to make their way up. And congratulations to last year's bowl team. But this is impossible. They're going to lose all six of those games, Steve. I, in, in my opinion, they lose all six. Yeah, and I had I had UNLV last year was one of my biggest bets. I put them over three wins. Mm-hmm. Cantor actually opened them uh, two and a half wins. Right. GT Technologies closed three and a half to four. This year... All the locals, I don't know what they were seeing. They were like, oh, they're going to win about six games mm-hmm. or four to five. Sure. I had them three and ten. Maybe I was too optimistic in many ways. Could um, be. I mean, you know, if they can somehow pull an upset this week, then, then that would be really something, a feather in their cap moving forward. But still, I just gave you six straight losses. Or not six straight, but six losses. Right. A lot of it's not having the bye week. But one thing that's interesting with, you know, with this schedule is now, like, just two weeks ago, they are talking about Northern Illinois. Well, we should be able to handle them. Right. And now they're, we're staring at plus nine and a half, plus ten. Yeah. And I, it's just the way that I'm programmed, rightly or wrong, and probably works better in the NFL. I see that big line move, and I say, I think just overreaction. It's well, and you're going to give out your play here in this game, but I'm looking at it, and you know, you've got everybody hearing every radio station you turn on in Las Vegas, and we're all talking out here. Of- uh, whether they're handicapping geared or not about the point spreads. Everybody's talking about Northern Illinois won 25 straight games. They've got this great road record there, true road warriors. We all know that so far the rushing game has been pretty good you know, without Lynch back at quarterback. They got basically two-headed quarterback. But when I look at what they did on defense to Northwestern, holding them to less than 80 yards rushing, that jumps out at me. But there's all this perception that Northern Illinois comes in here and just wipes them out. I don't know if you've seen the Northern Illinois schedule. The schedule maker did them no favor travel-wise at Northwestern, at UNLV this Saturday, and then they go on the road to SEC country, Arkansas. If there's a game they're going to look past, and that really was my handicap as well. It's a I really just stole a, your that, 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 that is absolutely fine. We're going we're to go ahead and uh, I'll make it official, okay, and I'll I, 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 no, I'll reiterate your excellent point. <laughs> For all you golfers out there, break out the open face sandwich sandwich <laughs> because this is it. Uh, Northern Illinois, they're looking already ahead to um, a, a barbecue with some pigs here with Arkansas. This is they're already said so we're going to handle UNLV in the desert. There's there's some kind of trend too when teams that are non um, arid teams come to the desert, they do lousy against the spread. Uh, I said UNLV will stink. The whole town is mad at me. Hey, I was right. Don't get mad at me. I liked them last year. I don't like them this year. So there's eleven games to go, Steve. Baby, so I'm, so I'm going to get everyone off my back. UNLV plus ten. It's an all-in game. Their year will go into the dumper completely if they can't get this one. They'll lose the next three on the road. As Scott mentioned, their schedule, um, the one game that, that they might be able to win is their third straight road game, so they won't be able to win that one. They need this game like blood. I expect Hauk to have his boys bringing their C-plus game, which should be enough to hang in there with a Northern Illinois team looking ahead to Arkansas. We hold our nose. We play the plus 10. You might want to bet this one right before post if you live in Vegas. Can't imagine there's going to be much support for our local team. All the good you just did locally, and then you said they're going to bring their C-plus game. <laughs> you just destroyed it all in one little three-word, you know, phrase there. If I was a blue-chip football player, I think I would probably find – I think I would go to San Diego State and not UNLV to play football. Well, I, that's just yeah, me. That's just so. me. But I'll tell you what right now, I'll, I'll be rooting for your northern – I mean, your UNLV side. I'm not going to bet it, the but I'm going to be rooting for your line. rivals. <laughs> I know it just came out. It was on <laughs> I hope that's not an omen. We should do some NFL in a bit, and I'll give all the reasons why you like what you like. This is a free play, not a big bet <laughs> that I'll make myself. But, you know, this is one of the bets they'll have to make because – 
what will happen is whatever the spread is in faraway places, mm -hmm. here locally, there's no support locally. The people no. bet against our rebels. Absolutely. So if the line closes nine, I'll get ten and a half, and I'll get a first half plus seven and a half at some silly number. So uh, you ready to head to the end of the NFL? Let's do it. All right. Stay with us. Pregame.tv will be breaking down two NFL games. I think we're going to go first. Uh, Houston, Oakland, stay with us. Uh, Pregame.tv. Sorry about that. When we get to that.